Question number three. It was found that 68% of the passengers on a train used a cell phone during their train journey. Of those using a cell phone, 70% uh, were under 30 years old, 25% were between 30 and 65 years old, and the rest were over 65 years old. Of those not using a cell phone, 26% were under 30 years old, and 64% were over 65 years old. Draw a tree diagram to represent this information, giving all the probabilities as decimals. And also given that one of the passengers is 45 years old, find the probability um, of this passenger using a cell phone during a journey. Okay, so for the first part, it was found that 68% um, of passengers on a train. Um, so let us say that um, here we are. 68% of the passengers on a train use a cell phone. Using a phone, 68% is 0 0.68 as a decimal. Therefore, this is going to be 0 0.32, 1 minus that. So, not using a phone. Then, of those using a phone, 70% 70 70 were under 30 years old. That means, let us say, young. And then, um, 25% were between 30 and 65, let's say middle-aged, between 30 and 65, and you've got 25%, and the rest um, was over, were over 65 years old, so that means they were old. Okay, so I'm going to say 1 minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.25, 0 0.05, so, and then of those not using, of those not using a cell phone, we have, um, we have what, let's take note here, of those not using us, 26 were under 30 years old, so 0 0.26 young, then medium age, you got, um, um, well, it's not stated, 64% were over 65 years of age, so 64% over 65 years of age. So the rest is 1 minus these two, and you can end up with 0 0.10. Okay, so here's our tree diagram for the first part. For the second part, we need to, given that a one of the passengers is 45 years old, passengers is 45 years old and using a phone. So using a phone, and he's 45 years of age. If he's using a phone, then he's among the 0 0.68 times that he's 45 years old, he's of middle age, so times 0 0.25. And that's going to give us so 0 0.68 times 0 0.25. This one's going to be 0 0.17. Now, this is the condition pro conditional probability. What is the probability that uh, he's using a cell phone on the journey? If he's using a cell phone and he's 45, it could be that he's not using a cell phone, but he's also 45 here. Alright, so this is probability of A intersection B, conditional probability is equal to probability of A times the probability of B divided by the probability of B. Therefore, the probability that he is using a cell phone and he is of medium age is going to be the first one, probability that uh, he's using a phone times the probability that he's of middle aged divided the probability that he's of middle age. So, this one on top here we got a 0 0.17 probability that he's of middle age is going to be 0 0.68 times um, 0 0.25 because he's of middle age and using a cell phone and he's using a cell phone but he's not of middle age Oh, so he's using, he's not using his phone, but he's not using his cell phone, but he's of middle age. He's going to be 0 0.32 times 0 0.101. Okay, so here yeah, we've got 0 0.17 divided by so 0 0.17 plus, um, plus in brackets uh, 0 0.32 times 0 0.1. It's going to give us 0 0.201. Take 0 0.17 divided by the answer, 0 
0.845 so it's 0.845 isn't it yeah 0.68 times 0.25 plus 0.32 times 0.1 so 202 and if you do that you get a 0.84158 so the answer should be 0. Point, sorry 842 to three significant figures um, yeah here we are